There's a saying that America runs on dunks. But here in our community, Malden runs on public transit. My name is Gary Christensen, and I am the proud mayor of Malden, Massachusetts. My role here this morning, fortunately for you, and by that I mean check out some of my long-winded speeches, is to simply welcome you to our city. But I must also use this time to publicly thank Governor Healy and Lieutenant Governor Driscoll, not only for what they are announcing today, but all that you have done for our city in just less than two years. From public transit, to the environment, to substance use disorder, to affordable housing, your commitment to cities like ours are making a difference. So without further ado, I would now like to introduce Governor Mara Healy. Um, good morning, and thank you so much, Mayor Christensen. It's great to be here. Let's have him back up again. Come here and show your shoes. Yep. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> show Check your, look at that, right? Yeah. Do you all know that? Commerce came out of here, Malden, originally, yeah. right? I mean, we're, we, I brag, we, and we wear our Commerce all the time, the, the Kim and I do all the time, right? But just saying this morning, <laughs> we happen to be here where it all began. Yeah. And I appreciate Mayor Christensen representing in his Converse Kicks this morning, um, wearing the Malden colors, in fact. So many thanks to the mayor, to the city council, to so many of the great folks from Malden who join us here on this beautiful morning. Um, it's back to school for many. So we wish our parents, our young people, our educators all well today. It's also voting day, so make sure if you haven't already voted, please make a plan to go vote today. Democracy depends on it. We're here today to make an exciting announcement. A lot of great things are happening with the MBTA, and today is another example. Today we are announcing that we have, for the first time ever, a system-wide income eligible reduced fare for the MBTA. Reduced fare for MBTA riders. And I just want to thank... I want to thank all the people who came together to help make this possible. That includes, importantly, our legislators. We have fantastic legislators who are, um, who are out there working hard for folks every single day, including some who have joined us here today who advocated for their T-riding constituents. And that included Senator J Jason Lewis, Representative Paul Donato, Representative Stephen Altrino, Representative Kate Lipper Garabedian, all of whom advocated for and then appropriated funding for this very program. So we thank members of the legislature. We also thank members of, of our administration who undertook an unprecedented effort to look at this issue to figure out how we could actually do it. And so on behalf of Lieutenant Governor Kim Driscoll and myself, uh, General Manager Phil Ang of the T, um, joining us today, Michael Cole, the COO of the Department of Transitional Assistance, an important agency that is going to help us figure out how we can best get to those residents who qualify this very program. We thank all of you and your teams. We're also joined here today by our uh, Department of Transportation Chief of Policy and Chief of Staff, Hayes Morrison. But everybody within the ranks of the T, within our administration, thank you guys so much for coming together to figure out how we could make good on something we promised that we wanted to deliver on when we took office. Most importantly, we want to thank our community champions. We're joined here today by Sharon Scott Chandler, who's CEO of ABCD. We have other incredibly important um, advocates joining us as well. I see folks from the Chinese Progressive Association, among others. Um, but there have been so many transit equity advocates who've been out there advocating for what we are delivering, delivering today. And I really, really appreciate it. So here's what this means. Whether you are uh, using a commuter rail, a ferry, a bus, a subway, or the ride, if you qualify, 
you're now going to get a discounted fare, which is awesome. Whatever branch of service that you ride, you're going to be eligible for. And remember, our branches of service cover more than half of the communities in Massachusetts. So it's a big deal. This has statewide impact. It's not a small discount. It's going to be um, half price, actually. So that's significant, a 50% reduction. We know, we know that's a real difference, too. We estimate a savings of over $700, $720 per rider per year. That's a big deal. So we want to get the word out. We're counting on you to help us get the word out. Um, remember, we already have reduced fare programs for if you're a student, if you're a young adult, if you're a senior, if you're a person with a disability. If you're in any of those categories, you already qualify for reduced fares. Make sure that you've signed up for that. Today, we're going to add more riders, and that specifically includes anyone in addition uh, who's between the ages of 18 and 64 and whose income, income qualifies them for programs like MassHealth or SNAP. If you're on these programs, you're going to be eligible for a reduced fare. We are proud to be home to America's first public transit system, uh, our first subway, in fact, in the, in the country. And we've said from the beginning that this team, our team, is focused on making it better. We know how important public transit is to people all across Massachusetts, and we're really, really proud of the leadership team that we have at the team, at, at the T, and the work that people are doing day in and day out to make our system more accessible, more affordable, and more equitable. That's why we leaned into it with our budget. Remember, our budget doubles. For the first time ever, we are doubling, doubling the state's operating amount for the budget. We're expanding access to capital funding. We secured recently $67 million in federal funds to help us upgrade our system, making our green line more accessible to people with disabilities. And a few weeks ago, a few of you joined me a few of you joined us when we did Touch and Go. We now have contactless pay, which is, which is great. Phil and the team are relentlessly focused on making this system the best it can possibly be, teaming up with the great workers at the T to make this happen. Um, and importantly, we know that removing a uh, cost as a barrier is going to help more people get onto the T. That's really important to me because it means more people are gonna be able to get to work, get to their doctor's appointments, get to school, get to where they need to be. It's also really important because it helps us meet our climate goals, okay? Um, you have read that this administration, our team has really leaned into securing federal funds for transportation, for infrastructure, for climate-related resilience. And we've done really, really well with the Biden-Harris administration. This is another step forward because the more people we are able to get off the roads and using public transportation, the more our greenhouse gas emissions are gonna go down. So that is also a really important thing. But bottom line, this is about improving the quality of life for our residents. We're really focused on that. Uh, making our workforce and our economy more competitive. I also see Darlene Lombos from the Greater Boston Labor Council here and Bob Bauer from AFL-CIO. Again, I want to underscore the appreciation that GM Ng and I share for um, the workers at the T and workers out there who are delivering um, on, on so much, including building out this important infrastructure. And with that, I'd like to turn it over to a person who's come in, done a fantastic job. Um, he, uh, he means what he says, and he delivers on what he says. And that is our fantastic GM, Phil Eng. Thank you, Governor. Uh, thank you, Mayor Christensen, for having us here today. Um, that's so inspiring to hear the governor's words. And as I stood there and listened, um, you think about all of the exciting things that we're doing for the citizens of Massachusetts and the people that visit Massachusetts. And it's a fantastic place to be part of and um, really excited. And thank everyone for the opportunity to do this here. Um, but today we're here to celebrate the launch of income eligible reduced fares. And beginning tomorrow, September 4th, um, people will be able to access uh, this program in our in our facilities that that we have set up for people uh, on behalf of the T I'd like to thank Governor Healy Lieutenant Governor Driscoll for their leadership Secretary Tibbetts Nutt and Under Secretary Morrison uh, for their for their uh, advocacy and support of this program as well and all of the advocates uh, that have been 
steadfast pushing for and driving us to this point today where we are now launching this and will continue helping us through the implementation of this. I'd also be remiss if I didn't thank my team, Lindsay Hefferman, Chief of Policy and Strategy, uh, Ryan Koholin, uh, Chief Operating Officer. Um, they have been steadfast in making sure that all the things that we're focused on, including income eligible fares, continues to move forward. It's our belief that affordable transit is a fundamental right. Public transit is a lifeline for many people in our community, for jobs, for education, and other essential services. That's why we're introducing this new reduced fare program designed to address this challenge and make transit more affordable and accessible to all of those who need it. We understand that the core of transit can be a significant barrier, the cost of transit can be a significant barrier for those with low incomes. The income eligible reduced fare program will offer up to 50% or 50% reduced fares to riders aged 18 to 64 and low income and not disabled. This initiative builds on the $5 million allocated in our fiscal 20 year but 24 year budget and an additional $20 million in our fiscal 25 year budget. So I thank the Healy Driscoll administration. I thank the legislature for this strong commitment to improving transit accessibility. It covers all of our MBTA services, as the governor said, subway, bus, ferries, commuter rail, power transit. Residents across all our corridors and all our gateway cities will find it easier to travel. It also includes the cost, as I said, eligible power transit ride something that is very instrumental in cutting the cost in half and people with mobility and benefit challenges will be enabled to participate in this program. This will result in up to 8 million trips we estimate a year. Expect over 60,000 riders will benefit from this and we would not be remiss, I would not be remiss to um, thank the many departments at the T made this possible. Also our technology innovation group, policy fair revenue, the ride customer experience, procurement, customer uh, procurement finance, legal, system-wide accessibility, external affairs and communications. I'd also like to thank the Department of Transitional Assistance, the RMV, Omicron, ABCD, and MassCap Network for in-person support. They're working to promote a smooth application process and that's important. Riders will be able to apply online with streamlined eligibility verification through existing benefit programs like SNAP and MassHealth. The online application is very simple, four steps, less than five minutes to do and we will partner with community organizations to offer in-person support ensuring that no one is left behind in accessing this crucial benefit. So we invite everyone's feedback, encourage everyone to learn more and we welcome applications at mbta.com backslash income hyphen eligible. Everyone's input is important as we refine the program and this initiative represents a major step forward in making the MBTA more inclusive and responsive to the needs of our riders. We hope and everyone and anyone and everyone will benefit from this program. Apply, start tomorrow. Thank you for your time, thank you for your support. And now I'd like to invite up the Department of Transportation uh, Transitional Assistance Chief Operating Officer Michael Cole. Thank you, General Manager. And good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining us uh, for this game-changing moment for the Commonwealth. Um, I have the pleasure of representing the Department of Transitional Assistance, which administers this, the Federal Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, known as SNAP, and state-funded economic assistance programs here in the Commonwealth for low-income families and individuals. At DTA, we're really focused on providing equitable access to employment and economic supports and food security and in promoting economic mobility and well-being as an outcome. I'm so proud of this partnership with DTA, the MBTA, the Executive Office of Health and Human Services, with the support of the Governor, Lieutenant Governor, Legislature, that provides this crucial support for low-income riders in the Commonwealth. Affordable public transportation is crucial for people with low incomes, providing access to employment, education, and essential services. It has the ability to enable equity through mobility and social inclusion, and to reduce isolation and promote community engagement. What we're really talking about this morning is creating the opportunity for 60,000 citizens of the Commonwealth to have the options that many of us might take for granted. Greater opportunity and access to affordable goods and services 
broader options for affordable and nutritious food, expanded opportunities for employment, education, and training, a wider network of providers for children, and the ability to use a greater portion of household income on those essential needs rather than on transportation. Bottom line is that for individuals and families in poverty, mobility is everything. Mobility is opportunity. With that, I'd like to turn it over to an important partner, Sharon Scott Chandler. Thank you. Thank you and good morning, everyone. I'm Sharon Scott Chandler, President and CEO of ABCD, Action for Boston Community Development, and I too am excited to be here with the Governor, the Lieutenant Governor, the Secretary, the General Manager, DTA, Chief Operating Officer, and all of their teams who have really led the way with, in partnership with the legislators who are here as well to make this program possible for communities that need it most. ABCD is proud to be a partner in this multi-secretariat collaboration along with the other Massachusetts community action agencies who will help bring this reduced fare program to local residents. We're also thankful to have been part of a coalition of advocates and groups for many years trying and continuing to make tr public transportation more accessible and equitable for all. And of course, I want to acknowledge um, my own ABCD team who is here, who's been integral to being able to get this initiative off the ground and launch. Because to, starting tomorrow, we'll begin helping people sign up for the MBTA's Income Eligible Reduced Fare Program at five ABCD Neighborhood Opportunity Centers located downtown in Dorchester, East Boston, Mattapan, and down the street uh, in Malden on Commercial Street. Then, over the next weeks and months, we will be expanding and increasing that access to 31 access points going beyond Greater Boston to Gateway Cities and other communities where the T, the bus, the commuter rail, the ferry, as, as all has been said, every mode of public transportation, people can get access and equitable ability to get to jobs. We understand as well that this program needs a human touch. Sometimes translation is needed, sometimes online application is needed, sometimes connecting residents to other services as needed, and we are here. We are also here to help those who are not already on some of the state eligible public services like SNAP and MassHelp sign up for those benefits so they can also take advantage of the income eligible reduced fare program. We know this is a game changer for the people that we serve. It's expanding opportunities for jobs in different places, unattainable because of cost. It's reducing financial burden, not just for commuting to work, but to getting to doctor's appointments, taking kids to childcare, going to the grocery store, so many activities that many of us take for granted. Their lives just got a little bit more affordable, and particularly when you combine them with the other services that have been explained today, food security, workforce development, access to child care vouchers, all of those make it affordable, make, it, uh, make people allow, allow people to spread and allocate their resources a little bit further. At ABCD, we've actually identified close to 20,000 people we already serve that have the potential to access this reduced fare program. And two of those families are here today. Bayan Adem and her two children, Right over there. <laughs> Bayan was a part of our Malden Head Start program, and her son is going to join uh, his sister at the Malden Public Schools. But have, being able to have a reduced fare T pass is going to do wonders for get them, the three of them getting around the city. Also, we have Jason Wang and his daughter, Leah, behind us, who I'm going to allow to come up here and share what this program could mean to him and his family. Thank you. Good morning. My name is Jason Wang, my daughter, Leah. 
Athen ABCD Hesta in modern. First, let me say what an honor it is to stand here today with such great leaders. Massachusetts Governor Mola Henry, <laughs> ABCD Head President and CEO Sharon Scott Tadala, Modern Mayor Gary Christensen, <laughs> and Master Secretary Monica Turby Leo. Department of Transition Assistance Commissioner Jeffy McKeel. MBTA General Manager Philip N. MBTA Chief of Policy and Strategic Planning Nancy Heffler as well as member of the community. I am humbled to stand here with you today. Excuse me. Sorry, excuse me. I also want to thank you, ABCD, the MBTA and other mass cap agents for joining force to create an administer the income eligible reduced fair program for Western of Greater Boston, the domestic wealthy and throughout the Massachusetts. I don't have a car. I rely on the public transportation to get my daughter Leah to school and every other place such as such as grocery store and medical appointments, back to school shopping and with friends and family to do fun activity with Leah, such as going to museum and library and move the mall. The money I will save on the for a reduced fare, TV pass will let me allocate my resource to other places like my monthly bill. Nia and I can write the tea more than because of the income eligible, eligible reduced fare program. Every saving ends up is special now when everything is so expensive. Tomorrow, when the program begins, I will be one of the first people in the line at the ABCD Mystic Valley Opportunity Center to apply in person for this program after a job year of for school. I encourage you, everyone who is eligible to apply for this program so that life can be a little bit easy. Thanks again. <clears throat> well, many thanks to, to Jason and to all of our speakers. Um, and again, I want to thank Mayor Christensen, who's done a, is doing a fantastic job here in this great city of Malden. So many great things going, going on. We hope to be back again soon <laughs> with, uh, with some more ribbon cuttings and announcements. Um, but, but great to be here today with everybody. And again, thank everybody um, who, who made this all possible for our residents. With that, we're happy to take any questions on topic. Uh, yes, it's important that it will be sustained, and it will, in fact, uh, be covered in our budget. I mean, that's the, the decision that we made. It's important enough for the reasons I said. We need to make sure that we are helping residents who are just trying to get their kids to school, just trying to get to work, but uh, unfortunately don't have the income that, you know, that they need. And so this is helping residents, making the team more affordable. So that is money well spent. 
Um, look at these kids who are now going to get to school and get to where they need to be. Their parents are going to be able to get to work and they'll be able to save a little bit of money every year, $700 a year. That's a big deal for families. And importantly, it's going to get others out of um, other forms of transportation that contribute to greenhouse gases. So more, more riders on the T or the subway, excuse me, the buses, the ride, it's better for all of us. It's covered, it's paid for in our operating budget. It will continue to be covered, um, but it's an important investment for our state. Okay, all right, thanks everybody. Have a great day, make sure you go vote.